Okay guys, so today I will be giving a full tutorial on how to jailbreak on iOS 4 using Snowbreeze. Before we begin, however, if you have an iPhone 3GS, be sure to click on the link on the screen right now. Um, it will lead you to a quick video showing you how to tell if you have a new or an old boot ROM. Um, now guys, if you already know this, go ahead and just keep watching the video, but if you don't, go ahead and click on the description. Um, if you have a new boot ROM, then you can't do this jailbreak currently, but if you have an old boot ROM, you're all set. So the link right now right now okay guys so before we begin there's just a couple things I'd like to mention first of all if you have a device that is not supported by snow breeze or for whatever reason you have a problem don't worry there are other jailbreaks on the way that should be here for 4.0 such as spirit should be updated some of you guys might have heard of that also geohot has a new program out he made of course black rain which is one of the best jailbreaking programs ever so guys don't worry for whatever reason you can't use snow breeze there are other options and I of course will make full tutorials as soon as they're coming out um, but guys I've had a ton of questions and a ton of people asking me to do a tutorial on snow breeze so I'm gonna go ahead and do it um, now this is not a perfect solution. There are a lot of stipulations. I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through it and help you make a decision whether Snowberries will work or not for you. So first thing guys is that there are only a couple of devices that it supports. Um, it supports the iPod Touch second generation. It needs to be an MB model. Um, if you don't know how to check what kind of model it is, just go ahead and go into settings, go into general, and go into about. And you should see in the list it should say uh, your model number. If it starts with MB, you're all set. If it starts with MC, you cannot use Snowberries currently. Um, if you have an iPhone 3G, you can do this jailbreak no problem. And if you have an iPhone 3GS, you will need to check if you have a new or old boot ROM, which of course I just showed the video of. So guys, now that you know all of that, there's one more thing. And this is, might be a little bit of a problem for some people. You will need to be on iPhone OS 3.1.2 and I have already jailbroken. So guys, I know that's a little bit of an issue for a lot of you. So like I said, Snowbreeze isn't perfect. But if you are, maybe like if you were jailbroken on Black Rain, um, as long as you're jailbroken that wasn't on Spirit, you should be all set. So guys, now that we have all that out of the way, let's go ahead and just get this one started. So the first thing you will need to do, obviously, is download Snowbreeze. So guys, I'll go ahead and have the page up here. Just hit up IHateSnow.com. I will have the link in the description. Um, just come down here and download the program. So it's not a big deal. All you need to do is just download it and you'll be all set. Um, you also will need your iOS 4 firmware. So you, you might have it in iTunes or you might need to go download it. It doesn't matter as long as you have it in a place that you know where it is. So guys, let's go ahead and just get this one started. Okay, so once you open up Snowbreeze, it's a really simple process, and I'll just go ahead and walk you guys through it. So we go ahead and just hit OK, and then we go ahead and hit Next. Um, you can pick Simple or Expert Mode. I'm going to show you Expert Mode. I recommend you guys do that. You don't have to, but it's, it's, it's pretty simple if you go ahead and do this. So now we go ahead and just find your IPSW. So I have it right on my desktop, so we can just hit Open. Um, just give it a minute to process, and there we go. So guys, now it's just repeating all the stuff I just told you. Not a big deal. Just go ahead and hit I Understand, and let's continue. So there are a bunch of options. I'm going to give you guys a brief tour. I don't want to talk too long about it. Um, there are some different things. If you have like the new boot ROMs, which does not currently support, uh, unless you want to go through a different method, um, you need to go ahead and do this. Otherwise, just hit you know background, wallpaper, battery percentage, native multitasking. Um, those are the main things that um, I'm using right now because my iPod is on 3.1.2. It's a 2G, and yeah. So that, obviously, I want to be able to get all the great features in iOS 4. So guys, you can go ahead and check those boxes if you don't want to. For whatever reason, that's just fine. You can do whatever you want. Um, now you can pick Cydia and or Rock. I just stick with Cydia, guys, but if you want to add Rock, that's not a big deal. Um, now, of course, one cool thing in Snowbreeze is that you can go ahead and download custom apps, and they will already be pre-installed on your firmware. So, for example, you want uh, you want a winter board or something, you can go ahead and have it already downloaded. Personally, I, I don't know. It's not really that big of a deal. You can just go ahead and download it you know, using Cydia later. But if you guys want to go ahead and use that, it's kind of a nice feature. Um, next is boot logos, and yes, guys, it, Snowbreeze does support custom boot logos. So if you want, you can go ahead and browse for your own. I'm just going to go ahead and enable verbose mode, which is kind of an interesting, geeky sort of thing. But uh, you guys can do whatever you want here. Um, and there we go. So now, guys, all we have to do is hit build IPSW, and next. So guys, this will take a few minutes. So go ahead and chill out, let it roll through, and I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, guys. So now this next step is really pretty simple. We're going to be putting it not into DFU mode, but into recovery mode. Um, so guys, this is pretty simple. Um, I'm actually not doing it right. I'm, I, you really ought to take off your case if you have any kind of case on it, because you will need to be hold the home and the power buttons for roughly 30 seconds or so. Um, 
But yeah, it, just want just a little tip, guys. Like for the, for example, this case is kind of hard to hold it, but you know whatever. As long as you can hold it down for you know 30 seconds, whatever, without dropping it. So first thing, guys, just go ahead while, with your uh, device plugged in. Hold the power button, slide the power off. Make sure it's totally off. You don't have to do this, guys, but it does speed up considerably. So give it just a minute, and there we go. Okay, guys. So now it's really simple. With it plugged in, hold the home and power buttons for a little bit. So just hold it. Okay, so we're just going to hold it for a minute or two. Hi. <laughs> so guys, we just got to hold the... Uh, it'll start to boot, and it'll kind of shut off. So that's normal. And it'll start to boot one more time. And then it will display a connect to iTunes in just one second. So, yeah, there we go. So hold it for just one more second, and there we go. Okay. So guys, now it is in recovery mode. So don't really touch it. Just leave it plugged in. And now we're ready to go ahead and restore the custom firmware onto our iPod or iPhone. Okay, guys. So as soon as you uh, go ahead and fire up iTunes, this message should pop up. It should say it's detected it in recovery mode. So just hit, click OK, and we're ready to go. So guys, we need to just go ahead and restore the firmware. So guys, if you've never done this before, it's pretty simple. Um, if you have a Mac, you need to hold the Option key and then click Restore. If you are on Windows, obviously, though, because that's what uh, Snowbreeze is going to work on, we go ahead and do Shift and Restore. So we'll hold Shift and click Restore. So there we go, guys. And we just need to come to our desktop and pick out the Snowbreeze IPSW. So go ahead and hit Open. And now, the guys, we have to wait a little bit longer. So again, go chill out. You know, go go do something. Um, iTunes should go ahead, take a look at this uh, IPSW, then start to load it on your iPod Touch or iPhone. It, yeah, it will take just a little bit, so I'll come back when it's done. Okay, guys, so iTunes just finished backing up my stuff, so let's go ahead and take a look. And so, actually, guys, as you can see here, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. Um, actually, something funny happened. iTunes actually remembered my uh, my uh, home screen wallpaper, even though it was jailbroken. So I'm not really sure what's up with that, but I'm not complaining. Even put Cydia back down on my dock. But as you can see, guys, all my uh, stuff that was backed up. Um, but yeah, I obviously have Cydia, and I'll go ahead and just open up settings just to show you guys. I'm not, you know, I'm sure you guys trust me, but I'm going to general about. And guys, as you can see right here, 4.0. And I do, of course, have an MB model, so. And ignore the Spirit 3.1.3, that's just what my backup was named. But yeah, guys. So, guys, it's really simple. Um, yeah, I know it's not the, it's not like you can just plug it in and, you know, run it like Spirit or Black Rain, but still, guys, hopefully this helps you out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.